So on the back end of the low where we are now, we're getting that north breeze around 10 or so miles per hour, and that's going to keep our temperatures cool for today. Now we're already watching the next low, the next storm system that's going to impact us right now. It's around California. It's coming straight for us, though, and should bring another widespread round of rain. We're thinking late Thursday night into Friday morning. Let's time that out for you. Now between these two systems, things will be relatively quiet and dry for a couple of days. Notice our uh, time right here, though. We're looking at 4 o'clock in the morning on Friday. So again, it's late Thursday night after midnight through Friday morning when this next widespread round of rain comes through. Maybe a couple of thunderstorms in the mix. And notice the snow flying on the northern end of this from the Texas Panhandle into Oklahoma. Now, that rain chance very high. And then again, that's early Friday morning. Then we're dry for Friday afternoon and we're dry for the weekend. That times out pretty well. Another system is set to come in Monday of next week. And the Storm Prediction Center already says we've got a setup here where there could be some some strong to severe storms on Monday with that uh, system early next week. All areas in yellow here under the uh, in that zone for where severe weather may potentially form. That system also is going to have a lot more wind with it and kind of just overall, I'd say more of an impact on all aspects of the weather. So today again, kind of cool. We'll warm up a little bit Thursday to 60. There's your rain Thursday night, Friday morning. There's the next round of rain Monday with all that wind and cooler temperatures uh, once that system passes by.